like Christmas because it is going to get very much colder in all parts of the country during the course of the next few days. At the moment, fairly mild southwesterly winds, but these bitterly cold easterly ones are going to be moving southwards in the next day or so. So eventually, by uh, the end of tomorrow, it's going to be cold everywhere and that very cold weather lasting into the weekend. In fact, across on the continent, temperatures are already well below freezing and that much colder weather not only heads westwards into the British Isles, but southwards across much of the rest of Europe as well. Temperatures below freezing. The reason, well, at the moment we've got low pressure around the British Isles, but as that area of low pressure moves away and high pressure squeezes into Scandinavia, that's the, the recipe for producing those bitterly cold easterly winds. Now today there's been a lot of cloud across the country. We've had outbreaks of rain over the northern hills. We've seen some sleet and snow too. The northward progress of that rain, sleet and snow has been halted and during the rest of the night we're going to find that band slipping away southward, so clearer weather coming into that northern part of Scotland and some sleet or snow over those northern hills. But much of the rest of the country very misty and murky with outbreaks of rain and drizzle. Much of it light and patchy but some heavier bursts through southern Scotland and into those northern areas of England. But as the somewhat clearer weather comes into the north of Scotland, so temperatures there will dip below freezing, so there'll be some icy patches on the roads. But for much of the country, it is going to be a mild night, particularly so over England and Wales. The northern half of Scotland stays bright tomorrow, just the odd wintry shower, some sunshine. The far south of Scotland starts off with some cloud and rain and sleet, snow over the hills, but very gradually during the course of the day, somewhat uh, drier and uh, indeed could be a brighter weather, will creep down from the north. It'll eventually get perhaps into the north of Northern Ireland, northernmost parts of England, but for most of England and Wales, staying dull and misty with further rain from time to time. The heaviest and most persistent rain slipping down from northern England into the North Midlands, North Wales and East Anglia. Now many places tomorrow will be somewhat colder, but it's not going to be notably colder across the south, but it will be through northern England, northern Ireland and much of the rest of Scotland. And then during Friday that colder weather creeps on southwards, eventually the rain with sleet or snow over the hills moves away, this brighter weather with wintry showers follows, a sharp frost to come on Saturday night, Sunday, and then a, a pretty bitter day right the way through Saturday.